Warm welcome. Uh, we're on a Thursday night and I'm going to be previewing Friday's action. Great to have you with me. Lovely to be with you. Wow. We are going to cream the bookies big time on Friday. It's going to be a Friday payday. It's going to be Friday fish and chips. It's going to be a Friday glass of bubbly. There we go. Eyes down. Look in your first number. Cheers to you lot for a start. Cheers to you lot. I'm going to have a glass with you. Oh, that's lovely, that one. Pomaine. Do you remember that? Pomaine. 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 Advocar. Warnings Advocar. And put a snowball and a bit of a cherry on top. Absolutely fantastic. Do you remember that? Listen, I've got some big ammunition here for you. And I don't mean to be uh, rude, but I, I want to give the bookies uh, a jet propelled exit where it hurts most in the payout counter in that big till. Let's uh, detonate them, as they say, detonate them and give them what they need. A right good seeing to on this Friday. It is a big payday. We've had a fabulous week of winners and uh, it really has been something sensational. And uh, we've still got a few days left to cream them before the business end of things at Christmas. I'm leaning down here and I should never do that, should I? Because that is rude and I must apologise for that. But I'm in a cracking mood because I've got some amazing bets for you in a minute. I've got a big lucky 15, right? Excuse the noise I'm making here, but it's totally disorganised. But that don't matter if you're winning, does it? Let me just get myself chip shape. Four big bets coming up for you at Campton, Southall and Southall. They're on Friday. However, he says, however, I do also have a 22 to 1 horse I want to talk to you about. And also a big Dundalk special. One bet at Dundalk, which has just come through to me before I come on air, literally from my very, very best contact over there in Ireland. And you know how many winners I've tipped over in Ireland, more than anybody breathing in the betting business. Guaranteed, I've tipped more winners on YouTube in Ireland, big ones averaging 10 to 1 than anyone in the industry ever. There we go. Quite a bold statement, but true. So it doesn't matter, does it? If you're going to tell the truth, it doesn't matter, does it? Right, so what we're going to talk about first, I'm going to move my camera to one side and I'm going to give you this lucky 15, but I've also got, as I say, this very, very, very big bet indeed lined up for you in Ireland. And I'm just going to press a couple of buttons on my, on my tippy-tappy here, as they say. And I'm just going to check a couple of the prices. And then I'm also going to tell you about a horse running at Southall uh, tomorrow on the 16th of December, which is currently 20 to 1. And I'm going to give you that free of charge as well. So we've got a seriously busy day, out of the blue. Even though a couple of the meetings have gone with the washing, as they say, you talk to and ask down the pan. I don't make no difference to us, does it? I'll tell you why I brought this up here. Because I've got, I've got extra 700 views yesterday. And they've never called this line before. So I'm going to tell you what's been happening in the last week or so on this line. And it's all true, because you know that, but it's all true if you're on the video vault. You can tune in and watch them, and what you'll see is winner alert, winner alert, winner alert, winner alert. Let me just tell you what's been going on in the last seven stroke ten days. First thing to tell you, yesterday was another very big winner on a horse called Evasive Power, which won at 20 to 1, first bet out in the morning session. 20 to 1 winner, Evasive Power. There was also a Dark Horse winner on Just Call Me Pete, which won at 4 to 1 into 15 to 8. That followed two other Dark Horse bets, one on Sunday, there was only one, it won at 33 to 1, Neffin Beg, and one on Thursday, Forced to Frap. So the Dark Horse bets, three winners from four bets, but the other one also placed as well. So all four have paid out, three of them, 25 to 1, 33 to 1, and four to one. The big news, there's not a dark horse tomorrow, but there is one over the weekend, and I shall be telling you all about that tomorrow evening. The next dark horse bet, and it will be a big one, I'm looking for at least 12s, maybe 14 to one. So stand by your bed, stand by for action. Anything can happen in the next half hour. Stingray, of course. Right, so that's what's been going on in the last couple of days. Previously, viewers, to the video cast of the century, as they say, sale of the century, Nicholas Parsons. I've also had Merlin Giant, which won at 9 to 2, and Heritage de Savola. 54 to 1 double they landed. And then a week last Tuesday, I hit a 250 to 1 treble with uh, Never Dark, 7 to 1 to 7 to 2, Laraz, 
uh, which won at uh, nine to one to eleven to four. La Rav and Gold Cup Bailey, which won at hundred to thirty for a for beautiful pick off there. A lovely treble, two hundred and fifty to one to your cash. Man on the Mission won the next day at a double one, eleven to one. On the Saturday, Lebowski won at nine to two. Amor de Mi Vida was a special Monday Madness wet bet. It won at Sweet 16, 16 to 1. And uh, I say Storm Alert won at 6 to 1 on the Thursday, last Thursday, with Forced to Frap at 25s, making a wonderful 150 to 1 double. And if you add that to this week's winners with Starfire to which won at 7 to 1 on Monday, and uh, Backbeat. BT or something, I think it was, which won on Tuesday at five to one. There's that many. I can't. I can't even get them on here. There, there's a sheet full of winners. And I can't. I can't get them on. So I'm going to put that on the floor. So we do a backbeat BT or something, wasn't it? Five to one on Tuesday, and it uh, can't be bad. Yesterday won at twenties. Let's get myself sorted here. Come on. Right. So I've got a lucky fifteen for you, free of charge, and I've also got two very interesting bets. So twenty to one at Southall, free of charge. And one at Dundalk for my top provider of Irish horse winners. And he has provided me a monumental amount. An absolutely mountain of winners. And uh, I'd be disappointed if this one do the trick as well. So it, it is a big, big day. Six of the best on Friday. Even though there's only three meetings penciled in. Kempton, Southall and Dundalk. I'm going for Tom Mix. Six of the best. Including a lucky 15. Kensitas, four for your friends. And also these two extra bets. One at Sewell at uh, a knock on the door. 20, a score. And of course, the other horse we've told you about from this Irish guru. An Irish guru, a leprechaun. A leprechaun, a leprechaun. Yeah, a leprechaun. So I'm going to have another sip of this. Thank you. Right, okay. I want to say thank you before we go any further to the gentleman who, who sent me uh, £20 on PayPal to buy myself and Anna a bottle of wine after having it uh, well, quite bang off, as they say, a, a really, really good session of bets. And also to uh, sharing so, a lot of sadness that he's had in his life, uh, a really, really, really heartfelt email. And I will be doing you a special uh, video and sending it back today. Uh, and I'll be sending it. I'm going to send you a lovely video from me. Hopefully you'll find it lovely for you and your wife. And, uh, you know, hopefully that will, well, it's Christmas, isn't it? You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it everything I've got to you. And uh, it's not about winners, this. It's about kindred spirits, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'll be doing that shortly. I won't have many more of these before I do that. I'll say get a bit silly, won't it? But uh, you know who you are out there. I won't mention names, and I appreciate the 20. But I appreciate the words, what you said, and uh, your sadness uh, is not going to notice, and I'll try and try and give you a little bit of uh, Christmas cheer on my, on my words uh, for you and your lovely wife, uh, Jeanette. I'll just say that, Jeanette, isn't it? Right, okay, shall we talk business? I think we need to, I'll say I'll be there all night. I could sit with you all night, I tell you. I'm going to do it one day. I'm going to go up two or three hours on air answering questions, going live. It's going to be fun. And we'll get slowly sozzled. Hey, let's both get slowly sozzled, eh? We'll just have a cup of tea and a slice of fairy cake. I could do the trick as well, could it? It's whatever you fancy, isn't it? You know, sometimes you fancy one, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you, you couldn't drink them in a month of Sundays, and then sometimes you want them in, you want to drink them on the Sundays. Uh, anyway, well, I'm just looking where to go first with this. I'm going to catch a rat here. Yeah, here, listen to this. I backed the sauce last time, and it didn't win. And I said the same to you yesterday with that evasive power. I backed that last time, and it didn't win. And I tipped it again, it won at 20 to 1. And I think the same thing's going to happen this time. It won't be 20 to 1. It's currently 9 to 2. It's the first leg of this lucky 15. It goes in the 8.15 at Kempton Park. And the horse I'm talking about is number 5. It's called Dashing Rat. I don't know if you remember watching the video. I said, catch the rat, catch the rat. And he used to drop this rat. He used to, it was like a puppet, really. And you'd have to stop it like that. I mean, you could never stop it because the, the force of the gravity was coming down. And every time you tried it, it's too late. But what a great game for charity. Uh, the old uh, jumble sales and the garden parties in the old days. Does anybody do that anymore, jumble sales? Oh, yeah, fantastic days. Number five, Dashing Rat, anyway. I'm not about Catch the Rat. It's called Dashing Rat. William Stone trains it and Colleen Story rides it. Now... This is a strange combination. Colin's story, I beg your pardon. Colin's story. Now, there's not much to recommend this jockey, but, but he has had five winners uh, from 58 runs. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't know anything about him, 
I really don't. And to be honest, as long as I have five winners, I'm fine with it. Because I think they also bring the jockey home. I do. I, I like it an awful lot. It's called Dashing Rat. It's number five, and it goes in the 8.15 at Kempton Park. Very, very sweet on it. I say, it let me down last time, but it had valid excuses. It had all sorts of reasons why it didn't do the business. Uh, but I think it could well win tomorrow, and that's, of course, on Friday. Number five, Dashing Rat. And uh, forget about its form figures, as I say. It's a lot better than that. And I think it's going to take a lot, a lot of beating, as Scylla would say. A lot, a lot, a lot of beating. So that's number five, Dashing Rat. Fourth last time of 11 at uh, Kempton Park under Ross Orion. And uh, he's a good jockey, of course, Rosser, but he didn't ride a great race last time. He got uh, bumped and bored at the start, got all sorts of issues, and uh, I think it's going to go very, very close indeed. I said the jockey has only had five winners, but he's only had 55 runs and uh, know nothing about him, but uh, I'm going to take a punt on that. I really am. And uh, there we go. So it's your first batch of this special bulletin to special people out there, and it's called uh, Dashing Rat in the 8.15 at Kempton. Let's move swiftly on and let's not mess around. Let's go to the 6.15 at Kempton for your second bet of the evening session and the second leg of this lucky 15, which I anticipate having at least two winners. Three would be nice, four would be absolutely perfect. Now, there's a horse again I backed last time out. I backed it each way last time out. It was back from eight to one to four to one and come third. I think it's got an amazing chance of winning tomorrow. It's number four. It's called Blue Curacao, and it runs in the 6.15 at Kempton Park. It's trained by Richard Hannon, ridden by top jockey Sean Levy, who's rode the horse three times, or the filly three times in the last three outings. All were two, two in November and one in December, I beg your pardon, but all were very, very good runs indeed. And runs off a mark of 6.0 blind 60 in this 0 to 60. And Blue Curacao looks something to really stick on, I can tell you that. It was in a 0 to 65 last time up. I thought it ran a really good race, didn't have much room to manoeuvre, a slow out of the gates, learning all the time, this filly. And uh, Richard. Richard Hannon, nobody's fool, has kept this all certainly now uh, to the end of the season to get another run out of it. And I think this filly's got a great chance. Number four, Blue Caracao. It's a second leg. I'm going each way on both of them. Uh, I think that one's about four to one, nine to two to your money. But I'm going to put them in a beautiful lucky 15 and together they, well, them two alone will pay 25 to one a double. Uh, but let, we need to press on with the leg three coming up. And we're going to go over to the seaside sand at Southall. It's not the seaside, but it is the sand. And, uh, well, sort of. 310 at Southall. Uh, let's kick on and uh, look at number one here. It's called Perfect Swiss. It's called Perfect Swiss. Now, this horse has got the form in the bank to win this by a mile. It's Tim Easterby trains it. David Allen rides it. That's a good combination. Running off a really low mark of 65 and in a, in a graded race of 0-65, to having been running much better contests than this. But it did run well in a 0-65 to last time out when David Allen rode it. He got the horse into all sorts of trouble out to box and bore his way out and bang his way out with two furlongs to go. And he ran on like a, a real, real trooper but ran out of real estate. And I, I think really, as long as David Allen has got his steering wheel attached to this horse correctly, it should win. It's number one, it's called Perfect Swiss. Should have won last time. I think it'll win tomorrow. It's uh, around about nine to two, come five to one to your money. So it's another one for the lucky 15 each way. Hard to kick out the frame. There's 14 runners go to post. Draw an eight, perfect pitch. I, I, it's got to go close, got to go close. Uh, Tim Easterby trains it. And that'll do for me, and that'll do for you. Number one, perfect Swiss. Third bet of these four lucky 15s. And don't forget the big Irish bet coming up in a moment, plus that 21 extra special bet uh, at Southall from a very warm source as well. But the final bet I want to tell you about for this lucky 15 is in the 125 at Southall. And that's the first race of the day. And that's the 125, the opening apprentice handicap there. And uh, the horse I'm keen on here is number five. It's ridden by Oliver Stammers. Uh, for Grant Chua. The horse is called Walking on Clouds and uh, I'm exceptionally strong on this one, I really am. Uh, was unlucky last time up 5th for 14, ran well under Sam James who actually rode it the time before that. He's only got the horse, Grant Chua, a couple of outings ago. He got it in November off uh, Paddy Roach over there in uh, Ireland uh, but has already showed to me that he's, he's getting to grips with this one and this gelding, for me, it looks... It looks all over a winner. It really does. It's number five. It's called Walking on Clouds. 
Uh, as I say, ran last time out 5th of 14 at Newcastle. The time before that was 2nd of 14, both at Newcastle. And uh, had no luck in running when 5th of 14 behind a horse called Like a Lion. It was a really good run. And uh, for me now, off a, a same mark of 6 over line 60, uh, it, I don't think you can kick it out of the frame and I say I think it can win. I love them bets when you can't kick them out of the frame and you think they can win. It's almost like a bet. I know there's no such thing but as a bet to nothing. But this one is very much a bank of bet material and I like it very much indeed. So the two more bets to come, one in Ireland and one in Subal, and I'll give you them now. But I'll just run through them four again for you without any quips or jokes or anything. Blue coat, that'll never be me, will it? Blue Karaoke. That's not right, is it? I got into trouble with this name last time. I couldn't pronounce it. So it's number four, Blue Karaoke. Not right. 6.15 at Kempton. Number five, Dashing Rat. That's right. 8.15 at Kempton. Love that. Love that horse. Number five, Dashing Rat. 8.15 at Kempton. Number five, Walking. I think it's Walking. Yeah, walking on Clouds. Good job I got that right. Walking on Clouds. Number five. Uh, Oliver Stammer's riding there in the apprentice race. Very experienced boy. and uh, Or man, I should say. No disrespect. Uh, 33 winners Stammer's has had. So he's well adverse to winning these races. And this class of uh, jockey ship, he stands like a beacon uh, out from the rest in my eyes. And the other one is Perfect Swiss for David Allen and uh, Tim Easterby from Moulton area there, uh, taking it down to Subble. So there we jolly well go. OK, so now there's two more to look at now. Now, these are both interesting ones. They're all interesting ones, my bets. Obviously, with the amount of winners I'm tipping, everything's interesting. But these are very interesting. And uh, this one, first one I'm going to give you is 20 to 1. 20 to 1 to your money. And you know, I tipped a 33 to 1 winner on Sunday. Sunday. I tipped a 20 to 1 winner yesterday. And I tipped a 25 to 1 winner on Thursday. Can I make it four winners inside a week? Can I do it? Four, not just four winners, four massive winners. Well, it's got a chance, I can tell you that. Now, the horse I'm looking at is at number three in the 235 at Southern. It's called Fei Fei. I think that's what it's called. F-A-Y, F-A-I, F-A-I. Fei Fei. Trained by Charlie Fellows, ridden by the top jockey on the all weather this season, Kevin Stott. Huge price, this. Trust me, ex-French gelding, number three, Feifei, and it runs off a really low mark of 79. It's been dropped down £3 from its last run, where it didn't perform to its merit, uh, but did run well. Finished 8th of 10 behind a horse called Gabriel the Devil. That Gabriel the Devil, that was in a handicap at Chelmsford. 8th uh, of 10, doesn't tell anything. And this horse went off at 50 to 1 that night, so it wasn't fancied. And the time before that, it went off at 33 to 1 and wasn't fancied. And the time before that, Jamie Spencer rode it. It went off at 66 to 1 and raced at Ascot, 27th of 27. So the form figures are naught, naught, naught. But I think it could pop up. I really do. And you know how many times I've told you that in the one. I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever. Charlie Fallows right, uh, trains it. Not Charlie Fallow. Charlie Fallows trains it. And uh, Charlie uh, could pop up here with a big, and it's 20 or 22 to 1 at the moment. 34 winners this year, fellows. Well, let's say we can make it 35 with a real bigger number three, Fei Fei. And that goes in the 235 at Southwell or Subble, whichever takes your fancy. One more to go. It runs at Dundalk, my favourite hunting ground over there in Ireland. A track where I've picked more winners than anybody breathing. Can I do it again for you tomorrow night? Well, there's a huge possibility. Uh, I've got a horse here come through to me. I have no idea what price it's going to be, but it is very, very strongly fancied. Trained by Johnny Murta and ridden by his apprentice who claims seven pounds. Now, number one, Final Voyage is the name of the horse, and it is very, very, very fancied indeed to win. I've not got any prices for this. Them other ones have got prices on, but the bookies are slow to off the mark to get the prices up with Final Voyage in that 6.30 race. But the message I've got is this one, is something really to get your teeth into and uh, the word I've got from this guy the leprechaun I tell you he's uh, pretty mustard he's pretty mustard at boozing as well certainly on the Guinness the old shamrock man but number one final voyage is a bet to not miss number one in the 630 at my old pals trap Dundalk and that ladies and gentlemen is that 
I want to wish you a wonderful night, whatever you're doing on this Thursday evening. Good luck with all your bets again. Uh, we've had a marvellous run. It's been fantastic, sensational, and everything else in between. But it can all change. You've got to keep focused, and you've got to keep winning. You're only as good as your last winner, but you've got to keep going. You've got to keep going, and that's what I've done again for you here. I've got a big lucky 15 for you, a 22 to 1 shot at Southall, and a horse in Ireland where the leprechaun himself has told me, uh, you can't miss this one. Well, let's hope he's right. I think he will be. I wish you the best of luck. I shall see you. I'm just looking. Yeah, I'll be back at Tom Mix, 6 o'clock on Friday night. It'll be music night, fish and chip night. And uh, it might even be a glass of something a little bit more tasty than this. Because this is not very good, I can tell you. But uh, it's wet and windy and it'll have to do for now. Take it easy, eh? Bye for now.